At the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, Leslie has rushed in with little patchy girl. We're gonna look after you, aren't they? Overnight, the Shih Tzu Cross was struggling to breathe. Patchy has been my buddy for seven years. She has done so much for me. She's been there all the time beside me. But now it's my turn. Leslie has been through a crippling illness and Patchy Girl holds a very special place in her heart. Yeah. She's visited me in hospital on numerous occasions to keep me in good spirits. I can't let it go. She's too important and too special. This must be Patchy Girl. Yes, this Hi, is Patchy Girl. I'm Lisa. Hi. Come through. Hi, Lisa. Leslie is so emotional and she is so terrified at the prospect of losing her beloved dog. I just hope that she's got a condition that we can fix. What's happening? Well, this morning at about 2.30, mm -hmm. Patch started coughing and choking and then it just got too severe that we thought, well, we've got to do something. She's, I thought she was, I was going to lose her. And yeah. she looks like she's really wiped out, doesn't she? Hey, sweetheart. Oh, she's definitely a mum's dog and uh, she barks if I'm not there. She's been barking raspy. a lot? Yeah, okay. yeah, she's So she's been dogs. fed bones recently? No, no. no and no she's... chews or rawhide treats or anything that could have got stuck in there? No. OK, we'll pop her up on the table. OK. OK. Hey, Patchy girl, let's have a look at your breathing, sweetheart. I'm looking at Patchy Girl now and she's very relaxed, but I can't ignore what Leslie has described. An episode where Patchy Girl was struggling to breathe, had a severe episode of coughing. Something is definitely going on with this dog. Mm -hmm. And what you're describing to me sounds like she may have a problem with her airways, so a problem potentially with her windpipe. The only way that I can work out what's going on is to take an X-ray of her neck and of her chest. Leslie's love for Patchy Girl is so strong. It's like she's her child. I'm really feeling the pressure on this one. You come with me. Very precious package. I know. All right. Okay. I won't be too much like Okay, thank you. At Sash, Lisa is X-raying Patchy Girl to try and find out the cause of the little dog's severe breathing problems. All right, let's have a look. She's got a collapsing trachea. Yeah, her windpipe, you can see, is tiny. When a windpipe collapses, it causes a dog to cough. It also prevents them from cooling down properly and can cause a lot of inflammation in their airways. In the very worst of cases, they're not going to be able to breathe properly, and that can be fatal. OK, hey, sweetheart, let's get you set up in a bed, OK? A collapsing windpipe normally shows up in middle age to older dogs, and Patchy Girl is a relatively young dog. If she's this bad now, okay. I doubt she'll live a long life. You're OK, darling. Lisa That's... now has the tough task of breaking the news to Patchy Girl's distraught owner, okay. Leslie. So, Patchy Girl's x-rays show me that she does have a condition called a collapsing trachea or a tra collapsing windpipe. Mm -hmm. OK, so when Patchy Girl breathes, her windpipe is floppy and it snaps shut and it's not letting much air in. So what mm -hmm. you were describing was a very acute episode of it that was probably brought on by maybe barking too much. And unfortunately, it's because it's a degenerative condition, yeah. it will get worse over time. There are only two real options for Patchy Girl. Manage her medically, which is not guaranteed, or place a stent under anaesthetic that is going to keep her windpipe open and hopefully prevent this from ever happening again. So you're happy to go ahead with the procedure? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Let's go through and see her. OK. She deserves this surgery because of what she's given to us in our lives. To save her life, it's the most important thing. Hello. Oh. Oh. You have been through so much today. Hey. You've got a bit more to go. OK.
it's nothing worse to see a dog not being able to breathe. It's, uh, it's, um, it's horrible. <laughs> I know she's in good hands, but seeing her little face there is, it was, it was difficult. Yeah, very difficult to say goodbye. You can call us anytime. All right. Okay. Don't look back. <laughs> hey, it's your big day. I oh, know, honey. All right. Now we're going to try and fix that windpipe of yours. At Sash, Patchy Girl is being anaesthetised so the team can work out the best way to repair her collapsed windpipe. Okay, How are you going? good. How are you? How's the patient? She's ready for you. Good, good. Medicine vet Dr Justin Winpole needs to insert a camera into the seven-year-old's trachea to see if a stent can be inserted. All right, let's do it. This will hopefully open up Patchy Girl's chronically narrow airway and help the little dog to breathe. A stent is a device that will keep Patchy Girl's windpipe open. Placing a stent is a very, very risky procedure. So we're just going having a look down her trachea. So I'd really like her to give a nice strong cough so we can see how much this trachea does collapse under pressure. The image clearly reveals Patchy Girl's narrowed and inflamed airway. You see the trachea is narrowed. Mm. It's just not collapsing as badly as I would expect considering how much difficulty breathing she was having. Having a stamp put in is a big thing to go through if we're not seeing any evidence of it now. Yeah, so there is some collapse, it's just not that severe. It's now a race against time to work out what's going on with a little Shih Tzu cross. Leslie is really nervous about this. It's not an easy thing to go through with your beloved dog, so I just hope that we have some good news for her at the end of the day. What's up, Justin? Andrew, how are you going? So we've got this little dog, Patchy Girl, who had severe respiratory distress, and then she's got some tracheal collapse, but it's not, it's, a, it's there, but it's not as severe as her symptoms suggest. Yeah. So I could see her larynx working, yeah. but I'd just like you to At Sash, Lisa and Justin have now called in specialist surgeon, Dr. Yeah, Andrew Marchewski, to look at Patchy Girl's voice box. For sure. The actual larynx is working well, and the voice box is not collapsed. Nice and strong, but yeah, those factors I think might be causing a bit of a problem. Andrew is examining Patchy Girl's voice box and has found that the lining of her voice box has popped out, which is definitely contributing to her coughing and breathing problems. So we could probably do something about that now if you want. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, okay. 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 I'll go and get some tools. Andrew is going to perform surgery on Patchy Girl's voice box to trim away the lining that has popped out, which will hopefully help her breathe better. And now I need you to hold her tongue right there. So what I'm going to do is I've got a very fine pair of scissors, uh, and I'm just going to cut away that tissue to get rid of the obstruction. Now just drop her head a little bit, please, and point it that way a bit, please. Thanks. These pieces of tissue that I'm removing are not very big, but her airway is actually not very big either, so it doesn't take much to cause a big problem. So that's just one part of the lining that's popped out, so we've just cut that out of the way, and then we'll go and do the other side as well. Oops. All right, we can put the tube back now. That's definitely the procedure we needed to do with her. Her collapse just in her windpipe just wasn't bad enough for us to justify putting a stent in. But with that voice box being obstructed by those little flaps of, of the lining of the, of the voice box, us getting them out of there will help her. All right, little patchy girl. Okay, well, hopefully you'll be all better for your mum. Girl. At Sash, it's been just 24 hours since Patchy Girl had surgery on her voice box. It looks so good, hey? Let's take a look at you. The little Shih Tzu Cross has made an amazing recovery. I think it's home time for you. I do. Devoted owner Leslie is desperate to see her precious girl. <sighs> it's incredible. I just can't wait to see her. Let's go see Mum. 
Let's go. I cried as soon as I got home, knowing she wasn't there, because I've never, ever, ever been away from Patchy Girl, and she's never been away from me. Look who's there. Hello, hello, hello. Patchy <laughs> Girl. Oh, yes. When Patchy Girl sees Leslie, she just nestles into her arms. She knows she's safe with Leslie, and she is so happy to be finally going home. You look just so much better. And you know that everyone's looked after you, haven't they? It's a pleasure, Patchy. Absolutely thrilled with the outcome. Really, really thrilled. It's a good girl. Oh, that's lovely. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.